on G H one. Here is an eccentric individual with a very profound ideology to life. Yao Boateng is his biological name, but he is widely known by all as Zozo. Boateng is a 42-year-old Ghanaian who once had a dream of becoming a sensational musician and a prolific songwriter, but life's challenges forced him to give up on his dream. However, the situation served him the opportunity to opt for another right. business venture. So After sojourning in New Zealand for about 15 years, Zozo returned home to Ghana to establish a career and that's when his business of wood pallet recycling began. I want to impact. I want to change the mindset of our people. I want to see Ghana also competing in the international world, not only by dressing, not only by flashcards, but we compete in the international world where we can sit and say, look at that road that has been built. Look at the structure. Look at the layout. Look at the beauty of it. You get what I mean? Exactly. Yes. We want to be able to give people a chance to be able to use wood in their own homes to create a beautiful piece. Zozo's creative mind grew rather sophisticating as he further advanced to creating a bigger version of the pallet kitchen, the mobile Afrocentric kitchen as he chooses to call it. This structure became a sentimental asset to him after it got shattered in a motor accident once they were returning from an occasion in Terma. It took him extra months and cost him a lot of money to have it rebuilt again from scratch. The mobile kitchen is characterized by some historic African leaders such as Marcus Gave, Yasantua, ex-president Jerry John Rollins, Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, and Malcolm X. The structure is equipped with a solar system that augments the business activities. I'm really African. And I show you the map of my face. Yes. The right eye is in the west. The left is in the east. My nose is in central. My mouth is in southern Africa. My forehead is in northern Africa. I think Africans have forgotten who they are. And Africans don't want to really toe the line of understanding what an African is. Africans have forgotten about their path of creativity and invention. The modern Africa does not create or invent anymore. The modern Africa dwells and consumes the products of the West constantly. It's typical in Ghana to find pallets strewed across the ground as a platform to hold certain items. But in Zozo's case, the materials used to create these wood pallets do not come cheap. Sometimes you waste your whole day just driving around to find one particular piece. And because what I'm doing is unique and is different, of course, I don't want any other material to use for my products. I want quality stuff. Then the quality stuff are hard to come by. And if you do come by them, they, they're not enough in the market. So next time you go there, they tell you, oh, Asan. Foster Adachi is an artisan who has worked with Zozo for about six months. He tells me Zozo's concept is unique. Rasta is our boss. He normally brought the idea. So we do it. Sometimes he brings some things. We find it very difficult a bit but due to his supporting we produce marvelous things that we can do zozo's level of dexterity is translated in his recycled product an array of recycled artifacts such as chairs beds mobile bars mobile kitchen rubbish bin dining table set a kitchen shoe and clothes racks etc lines up his home he has no background in engineering, but only passion for his groundbreaking ideas. Staring at the stacks of pallets lying on the ground, Zozo is already thinking of what next to recycle them into. Zozo is inundated by the love for Africa and the desire to change the continent through his creative art, not only in music, but artistically as well. <laughs> Ye crow moi, ye fin pa. Ye crow moi, ye fin pa. Bola, 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 scatter everywhere. 
Bola, 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 scatter everywhere. Just like other types of recycling, pallet recycling is an environmentally friendly practice. Every year, millions of pallets that could have been reused end up in landfills. And only 3% out of the 700 million pallets that are in use worldwide are actually recycled. So there you have it. Perfect for any lounge area, in the garden or the balcony. These commodities could be combined, remolded and fixed up into desirable items of your choice. I already feel like a royal. Joshua Nana Kwame Ayura, GH1 News, Accra.